Like, are you sure you want to do this? Cutting ties with your father because of a man? Eh? A man who is everything your family stands against. I love him, mother. And you of all people should understand that. My dear, I truly do. But trust me, love is never enough. Tell me, what happens when the bills keep rolling in and the person you know becomes a familiar stranger? Tell me, where will you run to? As much as I want your happiness, I want you to understand that if your father doesn't want me to come, none of us will be there. It's okay. It's okay, dear. My angel, from the very first time you came out of my womb, I had planned for this day. I'm sorry, mother. But he's the reason I feel alive. And I am absolutely ready to start my forever journey with him. Please, don't do this to us. Don't do this to me, your mother. I'll take your name if I have to. Go against the world if I have to. Is everything okay? Hmm? Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, should I serve your food now? No, uh, the food can wait. Okay, I just got a text from a client. I have to meet him right now. I actually have to change, yeah? But everything is fine, everything is fine. I can't believe this is happening. Bro, how do I break this to my wife? What do I do? That was everything we had, bro. This is everything we had. That was every dime. Mali, calm down. What do you mean, calm down? That was everything we had. Take it easy, man. Put yourself together. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. I'm also in this. Have you forgotten so soon? Come on. Look, we're going to find a way out of this. We're going to sort it out. All right? It's not like we have any choice at the moment. Just everything.
Babe? Babe? Babe, you didn't touch your food. You, you didn't touch your food. Mm. You, you didn't touch your meal. Oh, um, I lost my appetite. Could you just put it back in the fridge? You've been quiet since you got back. What's, what's wrong? No, oh, nothing. Everything is fine, okay? I just, I just need to rest. What's wrong? Mm -mm. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong. You're scaring me. No, everything is okay. Everything is okay. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, <clears throat> Let's go back inside. Come. Come. When were you going to tell me? I, I was I didn't know how to bring myself to say anything to you, you know, because you warned me not to do the investment, you warned me. But Ethan, he, he convinced me, you know, and he, I really thought it was going to make money, you know, and I was thinking about you, I was thinking about us, our future, but I'm so sorry, babe, I'm so, so sorry. I'm so sorry I let you down, you know, I just, I'm sorry. I put our whole future in jeopardy. I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean, I'm, Sorry, it's Ethan. It's not that it's Ethan. I'm taking responsibility. I'm sorry. It's okay. We'll get past this phase. Thank you. Honey, I'm ready to leave. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, let me go change real quick. Oh, no, 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 no. It's fine. <laughs> I'll drive myself. It won't be nice for you to come there. Uh, are you sure you want to do this? Absolutely. I I'll just go there as a prodigal daughter. I mean, we can't keep suffering here when there's a lot wasted in my father's house. I really wish we didn't have to do this. Honestly. It's okay. Hmm? I have to go. Be careful, okay? Sure. Drive safely. I will. You look nice in that dress. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Kaima! Chikaima! Mom, what is it? Oh. I know you're still angry. Eh? I know your father is still angry over what happened. But I just want you to give him more time. You know, go. Mom, when is he going to realize? When is he going to realize that this is what I want and this is my life? Malik is who I have chosen and there's nothing anybody can say to change that. Chikaima. Your father loves you and you know it. Eh? You broke his heart the moment you decided to marry against his wish. Mom, that's not love. 
He doesn't love me because if he does, he, he would care about my happiness. Jesus! Chika Emma, you're pregnant? Mommy! Hey! Mom! Hey! Ah! Sorry, oh, sorry, sorry. Let's go inside. Hey! Ah! Sorry, no, don't. I'm sorry, sorry. Let's just, let's go inside, oh. Babe? Babe? Your mom, um, she's here. She came to see you. I mean, I could tell her to leave if you don't want to see her. It's okay. Let her in. Okay. Sorry about your loss. I didn't know you were pregnant. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, your father is deeply sorry. Look, Chikaima, I know how you feel right now. But I want you to understand that I truly love you. And I will never stop loving you. Yet. This is the first time either of you step foot into my house. I don't want to have issues with your father. Then why are you here? Huh. As a matter of fact, I am. I'm very tired. I need to rest. You should leave now. Are you asking me out of your house? I'll walk you out. Don't worry. I can find my way. Listen to you. No, it's fine. It's fine. You don't have to beat yourself up, okay? You just have to rest right now. Okay. Babe, we're young. Okay, we'll have more babies. You know what? The next batch I'm putting in there, twins. <laughs> you know what? Triplets. Okay, two boys and a girl. <laughs> That's what I want to see. Just rest, okay? You said you're not hungry. No, I'm not. I'm good. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive about okay. that. Because I'm starving. Mm. 
So, since when did you start liking noodles? Mm -hmm. I love noodles. Really? Mm -hmm. Come on, sis. You and I know that's a lie. It's all we have left in the house to eat. What? Are you being serious right now? Things have been... Um, things have been pretty difficult since that... Since that cut me off the family business and... Um, restricted my accounts. Why would you do that? Because I followed my heart, Chetta. Oh, I see. brother, Chetan. He just came back from the shore. Chetan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, Malik. <sighs> Good to see you, man. Yeah, yeah, sure. Great to see you too. Uh, babe, I'm tired. I need to go shower. Okay. You're okay, right? Yes. Okay. All right, bro. All right, man. I can see why you married him. So was that why you dissed something? I don't want to talk about that. <sighs> okay, if you say so. Listen, I will talk to dad and mom, okay? Then when I'm done, I'll get back to you. All right? I need to talk to you. You shouldn't be doing this. Come oh, on, get up, get up. Please, please, please. Just let me do this. A man that cannot provide for his household is worse than an infidel. Have you been reading the... the scripture is right, Chikaima. Okay. I failed you. I mean, I came in between you and your family. I've taken you away from the luxury you knew, and it, this is not the same for you, babe. I want to think that we're about to have a kid in a few months. Please. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm sorry for failing you. No, I'm... no, 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 shh. Don't talk like that. And please stop reminding me of the baby. That, that is exactly what God wanted, please. And if anyone failed me, it's my family for failing to support my happiness and, and trusting me. Could you, could you please do something for me? What? Could you grant me a divorce? What? Please don't say no. Why? Because look at you, babe, look at you. I mean, you're a shadow of who you used to be, okay? I know you're not happy, and it makes me unhappy to see you not happy, babe. I'm... <sighs> I'm just... Stop. Malik, baby, you are my happiness. And if this was to happen again, I'll still choose you over and over and over again. Come on. 
come to bed. Kaima, I'm really sorry you had to go through all that alone. It's okay. Just proves that I'm no longer that little girl. <laughs> Are you pregnant? No, not at all. Listen, Kaima, I just don't want what happened to you before to happen again. Mom told me everything. It's okay. I don't want to talk about it. As you can see, I'm not really feeling too well. Okay. How much is this? That's 150,000. I know it's not much, but probably before the month runs off, I'll do more. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, sis, can you come home so that we can talk with that about your welfare? What's wrong? Hmm? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Come on. You and I know there's something wrong. All right? So tell me what it is. And this time, don't tell me it's nothing. I asked Kaima for a divorce. What? Why would you do that? After all she went through with her family? Okay. What did she do? She didn't do anything, bro. So why did you ask her for a divorce? Can't you see her? Can't you see that the suffering is getting too much? Huh? It's getting too much. I've messed her up. She's not a beautiful damsel I married. She's now a shadow of herself. It's okay, bro. All right? This is only a phase. All right? And trust me, it will pass. It will. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? What if I told you we don't have up to 500 Naira in that house right now? If it's up to that. But yeah, it'll pass. 500 Naira, bro. <sighs> Welcome home. Darling. Hey. <laughs> you reek of sweat. All right, go freshen up. I'll get food ready. Why are you looking at me like that? I said go freshen up. Go. Okay. Off you go. This kind of food. Don't worry about it. For now, I want you to enjoy your meal. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> wow, it's a lot of beef. Mm -hmm. How big this one is. Just the way you like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. I haven't eaten a meal like this in a long time. Thank you. You're welcome. It's 
leisure time. Oh. Hello? Babe? Babe, I was going... So he gave me 150,000. I took 50,000 to the market and I stocked up the house, the kitchen. Mm. This is the remaining 100,000. I figured you know what to do with it. Okay, so that's, that's why he called you? No, he just wanted me to come around so we can all sit as a family and discuss. And what did you tell him? I said I'd ask my husband first. I mean, it's okay if you don't want me to go. I, I don't have to go. No, 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 no. <clears throat> of course, I wouldn't keep you away from your family, okay? And besides, your brother is back down, you know, so things might take a different turn. Hmm. Besides, I, uh, uh, Ethan gave me 20,000. I just, I got some stuff. I got fuel and, you know, the engine oil was shot, and so I just, oh, I bought some stuff. That's good, though. Yeah. Um, well, at least we're good for a bit, you know. Chetan, take the call. What do I tell him? Tell me you're coming, okay? Are you sure? Yeah, sure, of course. Hello? Kaima. Kaima, wait. What is he supposed to be? What else does he want from me? What exactly does he want? Kaima, listen, whatever thing it is, let's just go inside and settle it. There's nothing to settle. I already lost the pregnancy. Now he wants me to leave my marriage? Babe? Is everything okay? It's fine. I'll meet you in the car. Hey. Hey. Do you know what? I'm leaving. There it is. Okay, this should provide some relief while I head to the pharmacy and get the drug, okay? Okay. It's right here. Um, yeah, I was going to ask, do you know where the car key is? What car? Did you forget that the mechanic took the car? He hasn't brought it back. Ah, yeah, that's true. I'll just take a taxi, okay? okay? Don't be long. Please. No, I'm just getting the drug, okay? okay. I'll be back in a second. All right. 
thousand rivers if I have to There's not a thing I wouldn't do for you I'll take your name if I have to Go against the world if I have to But I need to know you feel the same way too Yeah, yeah Cause lately you've been acting so different, so different. You tried to hide it but it's so, so evident I'm thinking every time it was you and me against the law It was you and me But right now Hello Hello, excuse me, hi Hey Malik Hi Malik, right? Uh Are you know Malik? Yeah, yeah, I am. Hi, my name is Hawa. You know what? Just, just can you come in? Like this place is not really safe. I'm not part twelve. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, you went to get drugs for her? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Let me believe that it's still Zainab? Like, from <laughs> back in school? <laughs> no, 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 no. Zainab and I even broke up before I got to uni. No way. Yeah. So... So who is this girl now that, you know, stole my crushed heart? <clears throat> Well, um, her name is Chikaima. She's Igbo? Yes. Malik, I don't understand. I didn't love. How I, I have a wife, okay? A very pretty one at that. I love her and she loves me. And that's all that matters. Okay, well, um, I mean, we can hang out more often now, can't we? Yeah. That's cool? Yeah, yeah. Okay now, so um, let me give you my card. Or you know what, better still, just give me your number. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yep, thank you. Okay. So, you said you had a crush on me. I thought you didn't have <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I did, back in school, like, you were really handsome, trust me. A lot of us had a crush on you. And then now, seeing you with the beard, the pointed <laughs> nose, Kai, you work out because I mean, uh, you are really. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's You in look a like while. a gym rat. I <laughs> try, I just not. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, are you ready? To leave? Yeah. Okay, sure. All right, cool. I mean, I, okay. Oh, you want to finish your drink? <laughs> Make up your mind. Uh, take the call. I'm not ready to deal. It's your brother. I know. So, why are you avoiding him? Malik, what's with the interrogation this early morning now? I thought you said you had something important to do. Yeah, it's okay. <clears throat> so, she's not been taking my calls. Yeah, I really don't know what to say. You know, whatever happened at your place, you know, your family house the other day, my wife has refused to say a word about it. Even at that? She should pick my calls. I tried to convince her, you know? I mean, I saw your call this morning, you know, and I was trying to convince her. We almost got into a fight because of that, you know? I mean, maybe you should text her and just give her time. Malik, my father is critically ill. He really wants to see her. <sighs> I'm really sorry about everything that's going wrong for your family right now. I. I just wish there was something I could do to help. You know, it's okay. You know, things like this will always spring up. The wind of life is so unpredictable. 
Well, I have to go now. I've got a couple of things to take care of. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Bye. All right, man. Be safe. This wasn't necessary, you know, it's very expensive. No, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's fine. Okay, if you say Thank so. You. You're welcome. Nice. Try again. Yeah. Is it good? Very nice. So, yeah. <laughs> why are you smiling? Huh? Well, you know. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> uh. So, did you do what I told you to do? If you know what is best for you, you better make sure that document is signed before I get back to that office. <laughs> or else you consider yourself fired. Rubbish. Um, I'm very sorry about that. It's my manager. He can't seem to handle things under pressure. Oh. Oh. Anyway, how does it work? Well, there's... Uh... A lot. Like, I know, like... Mm. I mean, I'm facing the same thing in the office, and like I said, this guy cannot manage anything. It's so frustrating. Kai. Well, I was going to say that there's no work right now, you know? I mean, things changed right after we got married, you know? I made some investments that didn't really pay out, you know? So things have been a bit difficult for, for Kaima and I. Oh wow, um, I, I didn't know any of this. I'm really sorry about it. Nah, it's okay. Are you sure? <laughs> okay. Hey, babe. Hi. Oh, that's your brother calling. Do you want a pig? Mm. No. No? Mm -mm. Why? Because he literally told my father he gave me money. I mean, if he was going to tell him, why then did he give it to me? He didn't mean it like that, babe. And how would you know? Because I was with him today. Who? Hmm? Yes. Listen, he explained everything to me, right? In fact, he told me that your father wants to see you. Listen, babe. He told me that uh, your dad is in, is, in, is in a critical condition right now and he needs your presence. I honestly think you need to go see him. Oh, darling. Hey, babe. I'm ready to leave. Uh, but you haven't eaten yet, though. It's fine. I'll eat when I return. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. My phone. Um, okay. It's your brother. Okay. Yeah, Chetan, I was just about to call you to get the hospital address. What do you mean, no need? I mean, I changed my mind. What?
Then what's the problem? My mom, my brother. What about them? How do I face them? Babe, you have to, okay? You need to forget everything that happened. They need you now as a family, okay? I'll be with you every single step of the way, okay? All right, we have to go now. Come on, let's go. Ethan is wasted, okay? You know you shouldn't have come here. You were the only person he wanted to see. Your name was the last name on his lips before he gave up. I was already on my way before I got your call. Kaima, you and I know how much you hated him. And for what? For looking out for his only beloved daughter. Chetam, you know that's not true. Really? Kaima, you broke his heart. All he ever wanted was just to hold you in his arms. Kaima, I watched him. I watched him cry like a baby. You know, I really want to hate you right now, but I can't. I've always been so jealous of the bond you guys shared together. But I guess you were always his priority. for you. I just want to be left alone. Okay. Just drop it on the table.
Oh, he's back. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Where have you been now all day? I, I, I've been worried sick. I was just on the phone to Ethan. What are you guys talking about? What else? I, I was trying to find you. I, I didn't know where you were, what you're doing. You know, I hate it when you make me feel like a baby. I, I hate that. I don't understand. What do you mean you don't understand? I told you I was going to be at meetings all day, right? But you were calling me in the middle of meetings. I told you, text me. It, well, that's exactly what I expect you to do as my husband. Text me. I mean, since you started this job, it's been one late night or another. Ah, uh, you're not the only one who works at that company now. So you're angry I finally got a job. You're angry about, you know what? I just, I need to rest, okay? I'll serve you. I'm not hungry. <laughs> what is it? No, don't worry. My ex. Okay, so are you saying that if I don't come home, nothing can be done? Chetam. Sorry, what were you saying? Oh, what are you trying to do? That's my husband. And that could be his colleague. It doesn't seem so. Come on, it's not a good idea, okay? Why don't you just sit and watch? Why? Probably, I think it's for the best. At least you have the opportunity to see the kind of man you married. What is it now? What is it? Eh? What do you mean by what is it? Like you don't know what this is. I had a long day at work. You know, I'm tired. You know, I just want to rest now because I have another long day tomorrow. You know? Ever since you started this job, it's been one excuse or another. If it's that woman I saw you at the restaurant with today that is performing my duties, I will soon find out. Hey, what did you say? Keep asking me what I said. I will soon find out. Every day, I'm tired. Every day, I'm tired. Tired. Yeah. I'll soon find out. Don't worry. Oh, thank goodness you're here, bro. Yeah. What's up? I mean, what, what was so urgent that you called me on the phone? Bro, there's, there's gonna split on the phone. There's fire on the mountain, bro. Ah, what is it again? I thought Kaima already knows that you're having an affair with another lady. It's not, it's not that. So what is it? Her wife's pregnant. Oh. What do you mean by oh? What, what is, what do I mean by oh? What were you expecting before? You were busy banging the hell out of a panani. What were you expecting? An iPhone? Or probably a Samsung Galaxy Tab? Come on, Gary. I know why you called me here. I already know what you're going to say because I told you, so you better start spilling it. I want to take how as my second wife. Are you kidding me? Is this some kind of joke or something? Bro, she has my kid, okay? And my religion allows for second wives, so it's not a problem for me. And what about Kaima? Have you thought about her? <sighs> Have you thought about how this will break her? Bro, don't worry about her, okay? We'll sort this out within ourselves. Then go ahead and sort it out. Excuse me. Me. 
You ungrateful dog. You know what? You do whatever it is you want to do. But I am not sharing my house with another woman. Baby. Don't bait me. Baby, listen. I, it's... <laughs> My God will judge you. My God will judge Thank you. Baby, baby, just it's not, it's not like that, okay? He hasn't been home all this while. I don't know why he feels he can bring another woman into my home. You know, I tried my best. I tried everything I could just to talk him out of this, this madness. This is not the man I left my family for. Whoever this man is, I, I don't know. But I want my husband back. Have it. I don't want this. I just want my husband. How could he? Chikaima. Everything is going to be all right. Okay? Do you think so? I know so. How? I know so because I know him. All right? Come on. Everything is going to be okay. Thank you. <laughs> Come on. It's okay. I mean, it's nothing really. If you're not going to have that, it's still fine by me. I want to go home. It's okay. Come, let me drop you off. Thank you so much, Ethan. You don't know what you've done for me. Yes, he's inside. You did so much for me and I'm really, really grateful. I'm so... I, I, wait, are you going out? Kaim, I'm leaving. What? You heard me, okay? You wouldn't let her move in here with us, so you've left me no other choice than to move out. Excuse me. I mean, I grew up without a father, okay? I know what that does to a kid. It's either you let her move in here or I go. But I can't share my home with another woman, and you know this. You know what? Leave me no choice. Have a nice life. Malik. Go, Malik. Leave her. I'll be fine. I cast the day I met you. I hate you, Malik. Ah, okay, 
Agent! Okay, Agent, why are you locking the gates now? Hey, I told you to speak to my husband. He just left. We already talked. No, 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 no. Please call him. You can't lock the gate. How will I get into the house? Hey, please, call him. Call him. He'll sort this out. Hey. It's okay. Last benefit of doubt. What kind of rubbish is this? I'm wrong with you. Eh? What's wrong with you? Eh? You want to stay here? Then you pay. That's what you do. Or will you expect him to let you stay here without paying? Take your father's house. Eh? Where do you expect me to get that kind of money from? Oh, you're asking me? Eh? When you, when you said that my unborn child cannot stay here with you, you didn't, you didn't think about that. Eh? But then you're asking me now. Excuse me. Hey, bro. If she wants to stay here, then she pays you. Do not call me about this again. Don't you? Malik! Malik! <laughs> Well, madam, you have to go in there and pack your things because I will not allow you to spend an extra night in this house without paying. And be fast about that. Yeah, so, this is it. You know, I mean, I haven't been here for like seven years now. <laughs> Seems like you've got attachment to this place. Something like that. It's nice. <laughs> so which of your clients is taking this place? Mm, I see you like it. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It's all yours. That is if you'd like to stay here. Seriously. What? Come on, Kaima. Since you have refused to go back home, I know you need some privacy for yourself, all right? So I was able to talk to my sister and yeah, she agreed. Besides, she's relocated to the UK now, so it's all yours. Thank you. It's thank, okay. Thank you very much. I feel so ashamed of myself. After everything that has happened, you're still there for me. We're friends, okay? I mean, we've been friends since when? Childhood. I owe you so much, Kaima. All right? Besides, you need to get your life back together. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Ethan. It's okay. Um, yeah, this. What's this? Well, my sister was able to pull some strings on your behalf, so you got the job. Yes, at least that will help you with some fresh start. 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, can we go get your stuff now, if you don't mind? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'll be seeing you on Monday. Since I'll be traveling for the weekend to go see my man and do the needful. <laughs> what is the needful? To change oil, of course. I be actually no one service your engine. Do you want my own to spoil too? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm talking about Ethan. What about him? Listen, girlfriend, that guy loves you. And I know you have feelings for him too. I see the way you look at him and the way he looks at you too. Well, Ethan and I are just friends. Besides, he's my ex-husband's best friend. Says the woman who threw caution to the wind. Do you think if Ethan could turn back the hands of time, he would actually make the same mistake of introducing Malik to you? Girlfriend, this is a lifetime opportunity. And if I were you, I would grab it and stop fighting about it. I've heard you. Come and be going. If I say I don't want to go. Be going, no. I've seen my own anyways. Bye. Okay, bye. Go, 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 oh, go. Oh, I've heard. Bye. Bye. I said you should go now. Or did you forget something? Hello, sis. How did you? Find him. He seemed to have forgotten who Chetam is. Wow, I can see you're finally putting your life back on track. What are you doing here? I was rude. Um, can I get a glass of water? Please. Please, ma'am. Chetam, what are you doing here? I'm just looking out for my elder sister. Well, as you can see, I'm fine. Really? Come on, sis. You and I know you're not. Okay, yes, you have a good apartment and a good job too. All thanks to you, Thin. Come on, don't look at me like that. He didn't tell me. So don't go dragging him. I found out my usual way. You still haven't told me why you're here. Okay. Listen, sis. I really want to be free because I am tired. And the only way that can happen is for you to come back home. I don't understand. Yes, you wouldn't understand. And I cannot tell you that here either. Why? Why is because that was what dad made me promise him before he took his last breath. And unless you come home, I can't be free from that. But I am not moving back in. Come on, sis. Nobody's talking about you moving back into the house. All we're saying is come home because personally I am tired and I want to be set free. And you're the only person who can make that happen for me. Listen, I have to go now because mom is not really feeling too strong. Okay. All right, be good. Diego, really. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, I know you like me a lot. This is Nyamoko. <laughs> Always displaying her cooking skills. You know you're the world best mom and the best cook too. Just wait. 
<laughs> Let me finish this now so that we pray first. Abba. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> um, are you expecting someone because Toby is not in town? Oh. Good evening. Good evening. Um, come on, sit. We're about having our dinner. Welcome, Chikaima. Um, just get her a plate in the kitchen. Okay, ma'am. It's fine. I'll get it myself. Okay. Um, excuse me, ma'am. I'll be right back. Let's pray. I'm starving. Let me help you with this. You like this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. God bless this food in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Enjoying this meal. Mm. I haven't had a meal like this in years. <laughs> <laughs> you know, mom has a special way of making one eat like a glutton. <laughs> um, Shetam, why did you call me? Why did you ask me to come? Like, I came here because of you, and you know I'm not gonna stay here tonight. Okay, if you say so. Take. What's this? It's yours. As you can see, it's still sealed.
Oh. I'm sorry you had to come pick this up yourself. <sighs> All right, no problems. You hear from me soonest. Okay. I am so late. Uh, why don't I drop you off? Oh, never mind. Bimmy will soon be here. <sighs> Hold on, sis. You know you should come pick that car. And you know I can't drive that car. Okay, if you say so. Um, I'll have my driver bring mine over to you while I use that car. You do that for me. Of course, anything for you. <laughs> That's great, thanks. Oh, that must be Bimmy. <laughs> I have Let's no go. problems. No, it's fine, it's okay. Let me have a, a plate of a similar one. Of oh, okay. So, how was it that I couldn't wait that you had to drag me out of the office? <laughs> Anyways, I was, I just ordered for a plate of Semo and okra soup. Oh, I'll have that too. Fantastic. So make it two, okay? Okay, okay Yeah. <clears throat> so, or was it that you had to tell me that I couldn't wait and you had to drag me out on a lunch date? This. What is this again? Open it. Surprised, yeah? That was the same state I was in when they called me to come pick it up. This is too good to be true. Has Malik seen this? Well, I thought you should be the first to know, considering the fact that everything about the business was done in your name. The money and the account, everything all yours. I am not giving him a dime. <laughs> Malik will find out. And when he does, he'll come asking. And I'll be here with answers. Can we get a drink, please? Yeah, sure. Bye, Mom. Come in, the door is open. Who? Hey, sis. Chetam, what are you doing here? I've been calling your lines. We were picking my calls. What is she doing here? Hi, are you sleeping with her? Sis, calm down, okay? I'll explain to you later. But I just came here to tell you that the driver will be coming here tomorrow morning by 9 a.m. Okay? No questions. I'll explain when you come. You could have told me this over the phone. When you weren't picking your calls, What is this? Go through it thoroughly this night, okay? Like I said, the driver will be coming to pick you tomorrow morning. We've got business to settle. All right? Power, let's go. Be good, sis. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm late. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But um, I was having another board meeting. Anyway, straight to the point. This meeting has been called because our company has been sold and bought. Mm -hmm. And we have to transfer responsibility to the new management. So, without much ado, I would want to introduce us to our new CEO. May I introduce to you Miss Chikaima Namoko and her personal assistant. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Please sit. I have gone through the records of a company and um, while I'm pleased with the work of some of you, for some, your services will no longer be required. For a start, Mr. Malik Abdullahi Suleiman, your services are no longer required. I have instructed the accountant to pay you your three-month salary. Clear your desk. 
the replacement is waiting. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for your hard work. We appreciate it. And to show you our appreciation, at the end of the month, the accountant has been instructed to add bonuses to your salaries. Thank you for your continued efforts. We're watching. Thank you. Walk. Me like this. Hey! What are you doing with that guy? Chetam. You know Chetam. What? This is my brother in law. <gasps> it's your ex brother in law. What's going on? What do you mean? I've been trying to reach you for days now. Guy, I've been busy. And I told you. What do you want? I'm here now. What do you want to tell me? Kaima fired me. <laughs> Sorry. She did what? Well, I mean, I knew that was the first thing she was going to do. So you knew about this? You knew? <sighs> ah, Malik. Malik, men like you do not deserve Kaima. What are you talking? Whose side are you on? Hey, you're supposed to be on my side. Oh, God, wake up and smell the memo. What, what are you saying? When are you going to realize? See, the offer was so juicy. Okay. What are you talking about? Because I don't understand what you're saying. Malik. Malik, I'm not pregnant. I was never pregnant. I don't know you from anywhere. We never went to the same school. Everything was Chetam's plan. And he paid me 10 million naira for everything that is happening now. And everything he has said about you has been true. What? So the earlier you wake up and understand that you are receiving the consequences of your stupidity, the better for you. What are we celebrating? Yes. From what I am seeing right now, I think 
someone just got promoted. I will shock you. Hmm. Here. Okay. What is this? Look at the date, the time, and the signature. I still don't get. How is this even possible? Have you forgotten the daughter of whom I am? Have you forgotten that I am the daughter of Chief Namoku? Chetan bought the company in my name. And right now you're looking at the new CEO of K's technology. OMG! This is great news! <laughs> Come on, cheers to that. Cheers. Hmm. Cheers. Oh, wait a minute. You, Case Technology. Is that not the same company where Malik and the pregnant girlfriend oh, works? I didn't tell you. I fired him already. Oops. Oh, and by the way, that girl was doing my brother's bidding. Uh, no, no, I still don't understand. Chetan paid her 10 million naira to play along. And your stupid friend fell for it. Well, why would Chetan do such a thing? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? He married me for the wrong reasons. And he just proved to me that my father was right about him. Anyway, I didn't call you guys here to chit chat. What I called you for is a celebration and we must celebrate cheers to the new CEO. Absolutely. <laughs> You're going to do me fit to tell me. You bro, calm down. When? Calm down. What do you mean? Look, I'm sorry, okay? I mean, even if, if, if I had told you, everything was in her account. So what do I do now? You need to talk to your wife. I know. I mean, I heard what, what you're going through at the moment. I heard what happened. And I'm sorry you're going through a whole lot of mess. You're a piece of crap. That's what you are. A piece of crap. Okay, I don't need your sympathy. What? What do you mean what? I thought you were my friend. And I'm still your friend. You... I am still your friend. Come on. I'm still your friend. Okay? Malik. Thank you. For what? For everything. You've had my back since we were kids. How do I ever repay you? Go out on a date with me. <laughs> We've been on like countless dates. At least five in the past few weeks. Well, I didn't realize those were dates. I thought it was just dinner or lunch. Well, now you know. So. What other dates are you talking about? Well, maybe a blue date. What's that? <laughs> I, not, I'm not particularly sure, but I think it's what couples or friends would refer to as these moments when you, you know, you come together, you know, try to relieve the moments, straighten things out. All right, Kaimo. I know this might sound crazy, but I love you, and I know... And what? Okay. I have waited for three decades for this moment. 
And I'm not ready to jeopardize any of this. All right? So, why don't we just go out on a date? Here. Thank you, ma. Huh? What's with the ma? Please cut that out. You know, we're friends before all of that happened. I was just joking. So what's up with Ethan? Mm, well, I haven't seen him in like, what, two weeks? Did he travel? No. We've been talking, texting, chatting. And the last time he came here, um, we kissed. Out. I knew that was bound to happen. I wasn't meant to tell you that. Oh my god, but you did. He said we should go on a blue date. A blue date? What's that? Those were his words. Since when did they start having colors? I don't know. He said um, it's something that couples do to keep their marriages and relationships floating. But you guys are not a couple yet, are you? No, but we're friends. We've been friends for like forever. Since I was five and he was like, what, eight, nine? <laughs> you love him, right? Well, mm -hmm. well, I... My dear, you have to go for that date. You're definitely going for that date. Blue date, right? You're going for the blue date. <laughs> you will. Uh-huh. What's that face for? You're going for that blue date, girl. So, this is what a blue date feels like. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's only a period where you get to find out if the popular saying absence makes the mind grow fonder. <laughs> God knows I missed you so much, Kaima. And I missed you too. Kind of brings us back to our days as young adults. Yeah. <laughs> that was when you shanked me for some to the new guy in the block. Shanked you? I didn't. You made me date some too. How? When you were all over all those girls, dating all of them. Hey, Choma, Chinasa, hey, Tola, Tolani, Toladi, and that nonsense, Sally. I hated that girl. But there was nothing going on between us. Whatever, I just hated and her. And it seemed everyone hated Sally. Well, I'm not everyone. You, you made her feel so special. She was just carrying shoulder up. <laughs> Do you know how many times I cried at night on my pillow? Because of the way you made me feel. Thank God Sumto came around. I mean, kind of made me feel special, even though I didn't really like him. So, why did you date him? 
not to make you jealous, of course. Anyways, your plans worked. Yeah, I mean, you could <laughs> literally see me going hungry, like I was starving myself. Should I tell you why I went to boarding school? Tell me. It was him. Yeah. I mean, he went around telling all everyone in the school premises around that he was dating my crush. And then everyone started growing fond of call, calling me a uh, chicken. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Kaima, oh, James. I love you. And I know that you love me too. And somehow I, I just can't wait. Shh. You know, there's something I must do first. Thank you, I must say. For what? For everything, especially these blue dates. <laughs> Come on, you're welcome. And I am looking forward to the pink, red, yellow, purple, magenta, <laughs> whatever color there is, since dates now and have colors. Well, I wouldn't know. But only time will tell. Who is it? I'm coming. What are you doing here? I came to see my wife. What? She obeyed. Obey, please. What are you doing here? Babe, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're sorry for? I I'm, I'm confused. Babe, I missed you a lot. I missed you. So? I don't even have time for this nonsense. As you can see, I was busy. I had stuff to do, so please, excuse me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, I am not sorry for firing you. If you think I am going to give you your job back, I'm sorry, I won't. I don't, I don't want the job back. Okay, so you finally found out that uh, the investment we made has yielded results and you want your own share of the, of the money, right? No. Oh, it's fine, I'll, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you, but on one condition. Babe, I'm sorry. Okay, I really am. I don't want the job back. I don't want the money back. So what do you want? I want my wife back. I want the woman I fell in love with, my best friend. That's what I want. I want you back, babe. She's dead. No. Oh. You killed her? Come on. When in spite of everything she did for you, you betrayed her. The woman standing in front of you is a different Chikaima. I know I hurt you. Babe, I know I hurt you, but you know I love you. Shh, I know shh. You do not know what love is. Neither do you know what hurt is. Love was what I gave you when I betrayed my family. Love was what I gave you when I turned my back on my father. Love was what I gave you when I chose you. I cut ties with my family. I got caught out of the family business. And in spite of everything, against all odds, I married you. Without your blessing, none of them came. Please. Please, I'm begging. Don't touch me! Um, you pig. Should I tell you? Should I tell you what that did to my mother? A woman like every other woman who has a daughter wishes to see her daughter in a wedding dress. And she so wished for my father to walk me down the aisle, but none of that happened because, because I was a stolen bride. Babe, I'm sorry. 
I'm really sorry. I mean it when I say I'm sorry. I'm well, sorry. Well, what exactly are you sorry about? Are you, are you sorry that I lost my baby? Because I was fighting for your love. Are you sorry that, that I ignored my father's call on his sick bed? Because I was fighting for our love? Tell me what you're sorry for. Tell me exactly what you're sorry for, then I can begin to listen to you. Are you sorry that I lost my father? Tell me what you're sorry for, Malik Suleiman. Tell me what you are sorry for. I lost my father. And for that, I will never forgive myself. But in spite of everything, in spite of everything, Malik, I have forgiven you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Which is why I need you to do one thing for I'll me. I'll do anything. I swear. I'll do anything right now. Anything you want me to do to make I up for the I want a divorce. Yeah, what? I see my future. I see roses. I see the stars. I see the beauty. But I do not see you. Babe, listen. It was your brother's handwork. Listen, listen, babe, listen. Babe, listen. Okay. I don't know why I fell for the trap. It was the devil. It's 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 your brother's handwork. Okay, I don't know why I fell into the it's the devil, babe. It's the devil. Okay, I'm sorry. It was the devil's handwork and your brother. I know. Yes, thank you. Babe. Which is why I do not see a future with you. No, come on. Malik, you of all people know the importance of family. I already lost once, I cannot lose again. You must do the right thing. My lawyers will serve you in a few days. Please, please. Please. And you look beautiful, Mom. Oh, oh thank you. You're All good. thanks to Kaima. Yeah. And you are still as handsome as you are the day I and your mother brought you home. Thank you. <laughs> look at you, so grown. Your mother will be very proud of the man she raised. <laughs> I know your mother is smiling down on us. And she's so happy that the son she raised is making her proud. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Mom, please stop making his head swell. Uh -huh, someone is sounding jealous. Can we count the cake? Okay. So, at the, um, at the count of four, should we count down to? I think five is okay. Five, okay, right. that's fine. At the count of five, Mom, cut okay. your cake. Okay. So, one. Five. Okay, five. Four, three, two, one. Happy birthday! 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 Happy birthday!
she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. And so say all of us. Hooray! Say all of us. Hooray! Say all of us. Hooray! She's a jolly good fellow. Oh, she's a jolly good fellow. Oh my God! <laughs> and so say I. Oh, oh my God! Okay, so everyone, grab a glass. Grab a glass. All right. Uh, we're gonna toast right now. What are we going to drink? Oh, going give to me one glass. Okay, Chetan no. already has some. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's give go. Give me one. Ready, 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 ready. Oh, Woo! Puppy! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Thank you. Oh. There you go. Well, thank yeah. you. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Thank you very much. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so let's toast. So let's raise our glasses to our sweet mother. Oh my God. <laughs> we pray that you'd always find companion mm -hmm. with Amen. all of us. Amen. And you'd always find happiness. Amen. So here's to long life. Amen. And to continuous prosperity. Amen. And to good health. Amen. And to many more birthdays. Amen. 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 Oh my God. Oh my God. Cheers, bro. Oh. Mm. Nice. So, oh, they're going to bring mm. the food. This is good. Um, who's okay. there? Bring the food, bring the food. Kaima, and the small chops. Yeah. Kaima, there's still one more cake for all of us to come. <gasps> oh, one more cake, yeah. mom. <laughs> oh. Kaima. I don't know how to say this one. I have to say it. For a moment, I thought I lost you. But somehow, fate brought you right back into my arms. And I'm not going to take any chances. Kaima, do you remember you asked for a red or pink thing? <laughs> yeah. Well, looking around right now, I think <clears throat> the environment is worth every bit of it. So Kaima, I'm going to ask you this. Will you walk on this journey of forever with me? Yeah. Hey man, you're looking for this? <laughs> Kaima, will you be my wife? My best friend? My gist partner? I mean, you know how we go down? But above all, will you be the mom? that I no longer have. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh my god. Mom. Oh my god. Congratulations. Oh my god. Woo! <laughs>
so complicated When you're caught up in between you feel like breaking Would you believe if I told you I never meant to play?